Yo, what it do, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. It's your boy Studio Plug, and in this video, I'll be showing you guys the secrets to creating a dark trap beat on FL Studio. But before we get started, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, as I drop a lot of insightful tutorial for producers. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started with this video. Studio Plug. So before I get started, I just want to let you guys know about Amuse. So Amuse is a free music distribution platform that lets you upload your tracks and gets them distributed to all major streaming platforms and music stores for free while you keep 100% of your rights and royalties. It's really easy and simple to use as all you have to do is upload your track followed by uploading your artwork, fill in a couple of details as far as your collaborator or writer. After you've done all that, just send it in for review and Amuse will do the rest of the work for you. So this is great if you're an artist or producer that is trying to upload your tracks without having to take hours uploading to multiple websites when all you have to do is upload once to Amuse and let it work its magic by releasing your music to almost every online music store out there. And again, this platform is free so there is no hidden fees or hidden charges and the way this stacks up against competitors is it doesn't charge for commission or single cost and the way it makes its money is by signing an artist from its own platform so you have a chance of getting signed to Amuse record label. You can simply get the Amuse app on your phone so you have a convenient way of uploading on the go. It's easy to use, has a great responsive design, and again, it's free, so make sure you download the app and give it a try. Anyway, let's get back to this video. All right, so secret number one, the first secret to creating a dark trap style beat is to make sure that you find the right chord for it. And in order to do that, let's go ahead and open up a piano. So I'm just gonna use my Omnisphere uh, Keyscape piano. You guys can use the piano of your choosing. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click on Grand Piano. Let's rename this to Piano. And we'll go into the piano roll. And the secret number one will be to go on a scale. And in order to do that on FL Studio is to go to Helpers, Scale Highlighting. And I would suggest the D harmonic, D minor harmonic scale as that is the scale that I like to use to create a lot of dark style beats. Um, it's actually been um, shown in a lot of uh, Travis Scott songs also. And if it's not, a D minor harmonic, it'll be somewhere on the lungs of the B major or A major scale, but D minor specifically will get you the best dark scales specifically. As simple as that, that's the first scale I'm going to be using. So that is the scale we're going to be base basing this whole tutorial off of so you can create a lot of other chords using this harmonic scale but for this video i'm just showing you guys how simple it is to just create uh chords using this scale so let me just go ahead and duplicate these notes the next part will be to create a melody All right, so now that I have that down, I'm just gonna go ahead and push Alt, click on this arrow right here, and you're gonna see why we're gonna do this. We're gonna make it to half of the whole entire session. And for every bar we see right here, we're just gonna get half of it. So before one gets to two, we're gonna get half of it, bring it to two. 
same thing for two to three. I'm gonna drag this. And you can see the numbers up here, three, four, five. So let's go ahead and drag these. So that is step one to creating the dark melodies. The next step will be to put it in growth speed. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's get growth speed out. We put it in half speed. Let's bring it up one octave by pushing control up. And this step is also uh, something I like to do. Um, it's This is only if you have Keyscape, just turn on the lo-fi and it'll give you a different effect. This isn't mandatory to creating a dark trap beat, but this is all optional also. Right after you do that, make sure to go on this little drop down arrow, click on quick render as audio clip. And what that does is it creates your file that you just had into an audio clip. So now you have it on the side. If you go to recent files, So let's go ahead and drag that audio clip we just recorded. The next part will be to get a violin. And while it's in growth speed, I'm just gonna come up with a melody while it's in half speed. So now I'm just gonna mute that. Make sure that the violin is only selected and render this clip as well. Now we have the clip on the side. Let's go ahead and just bring it out. So now we have both of the sounds we like. So let's just go into this waveform for the first sound we got. Right click on it and put open a new 40 slicey channel. What we're gonna do is click on this razor tool click to beat, bring the attack up, bring the PS down to 400, which is the pitch shifting. We're gonna do the same thing for the second sound. So now let's bring an 808. So now that we have the 808 out, let's go ahead and right click edit an audio editor and to find the, the scale or uh, the key that your 808 is in just go to regions detect pitch regions and you'll see mine is already on C but if yours was different you would go onto the keys right here and right click on that key that it shows you there but for mine it's already on C as you guys can see and what I'm gonna do is right click I'm gonna go to snap to zero crossing and what that's gonna do is gonna grab the the wave, the 808 waveform, so I could grab the bass. So I click on this little loop arrow. And as you guys can see that it's only grabbing the bass, so I'm just gonna push copy by pushing Control C and hold on Control V. And now it, my 808 is extended. The more I push Control V, the more it extends. Now I'm gonna bring this back. So what that does is it gives me the ability to glide if I wanna glide in the beat. So, I'm gonna go back to the first piano sound and I'm gonna see what scale it was on. We know what scale, what note it was on actually. So I'm just gonna create the bass line to it.
Now control B to duplicate and control down to bring it down one octave. So this is our bass now. So now what I'm going to do is bring it back to here. And since we brought it down four pitches, we're going to go right here, push shift down four times. One, two, three, four. And let's see how it sounds. And the last sounds will just, and the last thing will be to just lay down some sounds. So let's get some sounds out. And you gotta be picky with your sound selection. I'm just dragging out the last sounds that I was actually using on my recent files. So copy, control C, control V to paste on the kick. And what I like to do with the kick too, with the dark style, is to bring down the kick to around 8.4 because it makes the bass or the kick a lot more fatter. And you could also use a flute instead of a violin. It's just all your choice. And you could even add some more melodic melodies if you want. Um, this is just an example in this video. All right, so that is pretty much it. So the first step to creating the dark trap beat was to create the melody using the deep harmonic scale. The second part was to put it in gross beat. Uh, the third part was to put it in the fruity slicer channel and make sure that you're bringing down the transpose or the pitch shifter and bringing up the attack. And the, the uh, fourth part was to get the 808, extend the 808, that way you can start gliding it so you can get that dark feel for it. Also, don't forget to check out Muse. I have the link down in the description below so you guys can go ahead and sign up and try it out for free. Again, it is a free music distribution website. But anyway, that is all for this video. If you guys want to purchase some of the sounds used, you guys can go ahead and do so by visiting studioplug.net. I got a lot of new kids dropping every single week, so you guys can go ahead and cop them there. Uh, so go ahead and support if you guys want some of the sounds. Anyway, that is all for this video. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.